Gun violence has hit our neighbors to the north. Indeed, it is true. Parliament Hill has been under was under attack this week. One member of the uh, the Canadian Armed Forces was killed Wednesday in a series of shootings on Parliament Hill in Ottawa, Canada, by one gunman. A parliamental guard, a parliamentary guard, was shot who was also shot in the leg. The suspect was later identified as Michael Zenhoff Belbo, a 32-year-old Canadian native who you know now is dead. Um, and they think that he might have self-radicalized as part of uh, uh, ISIS. We're not sure about any of this, but we'll figure it out. The incident began after a shooting open fire, uh, a shooter open fire on Parliamentary Hill. A couple, this is what, Thursday, Wednesday, uh, at 10 a.m. Reports indi ind indicate the victims were standing guard at the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier near the National War Memorial in Canada, and that's where the shooting began. Uh, and listen, I know I, I got some tweets about this from folks saying, you know, you guys, this is a show that gun violence, like, you know, gun laws don't solve all of our problems, you know, because this, you know, Canada has strict gun laws and there was still a shooting. So yes, you're right. So Canada has strict gun laws and there's still a shooting. It does not mean that you can't curtail gun violence, right? This guy was only able to shoot one person. Adam Lanza shot, tw shot 20. Right, because you know he could get all these weapons, and he can get all these bullets, and these high-capacity magazines. This and the third. If we really want to change Washington, if we want to really want to change this country, right? Let's not sit here and talk about what's happening in Canada. Let's focus on what's happening right here in America, and that means we need to pass real, sensible gun laws. Because Canada has them, and only one person died. Right, not twenty first graders. Just putting it out there. Not saying any death should happen. 